And they were not sitting together. The wife was sitting in the middle there. The husband was down, down, down there. He already has removed the ring. That no more marriage already is going. But look at the way the Lord walked towards them. Huh? So that's it. So they will come back and give testimony. Yeah. There is something the world at large does not actually know. And you as a person that sit down. Do you know pornography is more torture than going out to fornicate? You know what I mean by torture? To torture your life is more, and it is more damage in man's life than going out to fornicate. If you are into that business, you know <laughs> the, your end has, it will soon come. There is nothing you lay hand, you may continue to do it, you may not see repercussion now, but greatly repercussion is very close. Because at that time, you are cut off with the Holy Spirit. There is nothing like you and Holy Spirit. The sin of fornication is in the Bible, but that sin is not in the Bible. Can you imagine how grievous it is? You understand what I'm saying? That sin is in the Bible. The, the sin, fornication, is in the Bible, which can be forgiven. But the one pornography, the one that is happening now, you look at man, you just on the internet or whatever, you nicker the man, you don't know, you begin to have that kind of experience. Is I don't know, I can't imagine. No, I'm as a prophet. And the world today, 70% of the world are into business. 70% of the whole world are into pornography business. Only 30% that are free of this. 30%. 70% among the youth, 95% of the youth today at the age of 40, 45 down, 45 down to 10 years, 95% of them are into this business, only 5%. Only just five percent That's, it, it is more serious the repercussion you know you talk of you go out and fornicate you may carry disease fine that is disease that can be cured that you can be delivered but this one the disease in it is mental. It tortures your brain. It tortures your life. It tortures your life. Whether on the internet or yourself, you hide somewhere, you're doing it somewhere on your own, it tortures you. And you are forcing your, the nature of your body. Not that there's, I mean, I don't know. I think we need to talk about that this time. There's trouble. Let's talk. Let's big trouble. Okay. So that is my job to deliver you. That is, that is my job. How I will go about it, you don't know, but God knows. Because God will instruct me, but I know they will be delivered. They will begin to see that the real self 
they met at the beginning. But everything is gone now. And the funny thing, let me tell you about this pornography we are talking about. The funny thing is that 99% of people you are seeing naked themselves on the internet and you are meeting on internet or whatever you way, 99.5% of them are possessed. You are, they, you are, they are initiating you. You are not only fornicating, but through that medium, but what you are trying to do, you possess. That is why you cannot stop it. It's difficult for you to stop it. There is no human spirit in that, but purely 100% of it is evil spirit. You know, there was a lesson, a lecture was given some time. When a man is delivered, you are delivered from the evil spirit. Don't change your confession, you are delivered. But human spirit can still tempt you. What is the difference between the human spirit and the evil spirit? Human spirit will say to you, I will deal with you. But he has no power to deal with you. But the evil spirit, if evil spirit say he will deal with you, he has the power to deal with you. Are you with me? If woman spirit say I will kill you, it's just a confession. But the evil spirit say he will kill you, he will make sure he kill you, destroy you. So that is the different. But it's a bit deep. So then when people just say to you, you will see. But you don't know who is talking, whether human spirit or evil spirit. So to you, you I, I will see that question. But today, evil spirit is now hiding under this human spirit. When they hear somebody say, you will see, and evil spirit is around, what he will do, he will use that avenue to deal with the person he will see. When the person now has problem, you will think that this person that says he will see, that deal with you, not know that someone who possesses evil spirit had overheard that voice and he now used that so that by the time he deal with you, you will not look for him, you will look for the person that says he will deal with you. That is the, 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 the danger in it for you to just stop. Yes. I will deal with you if it is human spirit that is talking. But evil spirit overheard this. He will use that avenue to deal with that person. Because he knows that person. By the time the person has a problem, he will now look for the person that say, I will deal with you. So this is exactly what has happened. Once you are delivered, you are delivered. That is what the Bible says. When the Son of God delivers you, you are delivered forever. Amen. So that voice you hear is no longer evil spirit. It's human world. It's human spirit. And it cannot, it will just continue to confess it. But if you are deceived, you just fall into evil spirit. But if you know this is human spirit, just talk. You ignore it. Don't change your confession. Once you are delivered, you are delivered forever. That's God for you. But human spirit will continue to tell you that, uh, go and do this, go and smoke now, go there now. Go there. You, you say, ah, I'm delivered now. It is not that spirit that was, that was I mean, cast out for, of you. It's just human. Human nature. Are you with me? So that's it. So we... We take our time to talk about it.